Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to talk about JSON Web Token. We will see what is JWT or JWT and why should we use it. So let's start. So what is a JSON Web Token? JSON Web Token is an open standard that defines a compact and self-contained way for securely transmitting information between parties as a JSON object. And also the transmission of information using JSON Web Token is secure because it is digitally signed. With its compact nature, JWT can be sent via URL, POST request or HTTP header. This JWT token can also contain data about the user. So when should we use JWT or JSON Web Token? Currently, JWT is extensively used in authorization and information exchange. For example, say a user has logged in into his account with his credential and then in return it got a JWT token. And, and using this JWT token, a user can make subsequent requests to the application. And also the JSON Web Token can be used as information exchange where you can encrypt your data using algorithms like RSA. So now let's see the JSON Web Token structure. A JSON Web Token looks something like this. It has a header and then a dot and then payload and then again a dot and then it has a signature. So to understand the JSON Web Token structure, let's go to the jot.io website so here we are on jwt.io website so here you can see that we have a token over here so this is nothing but a json web token so here you can see that the first part is the header so this header is in base64 encoded form so basically this is the header content and here you can see that it has alg which says algorithm and you can uh, you can have any algorithm over here uh, here currently it has HMAX SHA-256 algorithm applied and then the next property of this JSON object is type where it says JOT so the type is JOT so this is basically the header which is basically base64 encoded so the next part is the payload so here you can see that it has a payload with three properties so this is also a JSON object which is again base64 encoded so the last one is signature so you can see the signature here so here in signature you can see that it has applied the HMAX SHA-256 algorithm on base64 encoded header and base64 encoded payload and then you have a secret key which is which is of 256 bit here. So this, this is a secret key using which this uh, signature has been created. So here you can see that using header payload and signature we can have our JSON web token. So let's try to understand what will happen if we change this payload. So let me copy this payload first and I'll simply uh, go to a website where I can uh, encode it in base64 form. So I'll say encode base64. So I'll go to the first link where I will uh, encode this object in base64 format. Here it says encode to base64 form format. So I'll basically copy this and I'll, I'll change this name so now say i say roy okay and and then i encode this so i got this base 64 format of our payload and if i go back to this website and if i paste it here then you can see that this payload has been changed now the payload contains the name roy but if you go down and see here it will show that uh, that this signature is invalid that means someone has changed this payload. So in this way you can verify if your uh, token is being tempered or not. So this JSON Web Token is very useful in many ways. So if you have ever used the JSON Web Token, do let me know the use cases in the comment section. So thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, go ahead and subscribe it so that you will never miss any updates on latest tech videos. Thank you for watching.